friendly greetings. <laughs> Guess who it is? Yes, that's right. It's me, Torley Linden, and I'm your host for the fourth episode, while we're really getting in there, of Second Life Tip of the Week. And in this tip, thanks to some great resident feedback I got asking me to explain how to use these view menu, these beacons and highlights. Well, what are they good for? In a short way, I could say that they're very useful for finding objects, distinguishing them from other all the other objects out there, as well as, for example, finding griefing objects, unfortunately, when that happens and you want to cull them and get rid of them. So, first off, let's start with the basics. I have different types of objects here. They look similar, they're cubes, but you'll notice this one, of course, is obviously spinning, and this one is spewing particles. So, now, how can we tell what's in them? We can check the contents by right-clicking editing, of course, that's the traditional way. You can see that one has a script, but view menu and you can go to beacons. Now let's make this easy. Did you know that this here, this is a tear off menu at the top very menu. You can just click that to tear it off. And there we go. Now we can click it without having to repeatedly go into that menu. So if I want to show the beacons, for example, I want to show all of them. Click, 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 click. Oh, actually, I shall just do that for now. It's just scripted objects with touch only. That means there's a mouse cursor that you can see like a hand like that. And okay, you don't see anything yet. The reason why is you want to turn either, there's two things here. Either you go into edit mode where you will see them, okay? But if you want to see them out of edit mode, that means view menu and the self-explanatory beacons always on. And by the way, all this was redesigned recently thanks to Jake Linden and some other help from the community we got. So now that you can see, they have different colors. So scripted objects with touch only, that's things you can touch. So if I turn that off, then you won't see that. Physical objects, happen to be objects that are made physical when you edit it and objects have physical which means they will respond to things like the laws of gravity when you drop them and they're green <laughs> so and sound sources here i don't have sounds playing but this one it has a sound script inside loop sound i'll just actually let me just very quickly turn on my sound here let's see so you can hear the sound Ja, ja, ja. And you get the point. And it's very noisy. Very noisy. Be gone. Okay. <laughs> and of course, this one here, the blue ones, are the particle sources. They emit these particles. Now, how can you hide particles if you want to, to block them? Sometimes there's very ugly particles that get in your way that it ruin your enjoyment of Second Life. Well, of course, you can click hide particles. Uh-oh. Why doesn't that work? Because there's actually a bug. There's actually a bug in the current version, which I hope will be fixed. In the meantime, though, there is a shortcut. In the client menu, you may have seen me do this before in previous tutorials, you can see that there's types of rendering. You can turn off particles from here. And shortcut, control, alt, shift, equals. So let's try that. Yeah, they're gone. And you see here, there's a sort of status. It's kind of blocked by these other buttons, but it shows what you're seeing. So remember that, just use the shortcut to hide the particles until such time that we hopefully fix this soon. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? So, what you also need to know is an alternative to these beacons is highlight, uh, not that one, sorry, the highlights here, which makes them sort of in uh, a red, sort of a red. I know it doesn't do them for, for all, let's see here, but it does them for the physical objects and for the scripted objects and that you can touch anyway, or in the particle ones too. So. You see, it makes them slightly red. It sort of tints them. That way you could pick them out. All right. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Well, a quick way, if you want to unclutter this and just want to see highlights, the difference is, hi. Filming a new tip of the week. So what you want to quickly do, just to unclutter, clean things up, is you don't have to show the beacons. You can just show the highlights, which is an alternative way. See, these things are sort of tinted in red. It's all right. And then, of course, you could choose between the two. You can have just those, the beacons, the lines, these that uh, cross-section objects, and you can have both if you want. You can also change the width of the beacons by going to Edit Menu and Preferences and heading for Leave It's In, la la la. Okay, gra Advanced Graphics tab. We're going to actually be simplifying this in the future, hopefully. And you can change the, the beacon width, see? So as you notice, they will be getting thinner. But usually the width of 10, it's, it's hard to see them at a longer distance. And note that we do know, due to the rendering method we use, it will not go on some systems beyond 10. It will not get fatter. We do know about that. Hopefully that will be fixed in the future as well. 
So, what do you do next time you're griefed or spammed with particles as I am right now? Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, you want to go to the view menu and have beacons always on, likely. Then you want to make sure you probably want to tear this off because it's just easier. Then you want to have render beacons on and particle sources. Of course, you want to hide the particles when that works again for now. Just use that shortcut. And then you see, you can see that it's highlighted in blue, so they're no longer in your way. It's not cluttering you up. So you can find the trouble object. Then you can go ahead, right click, if you're, it's your own land, more, and return that. So no more troubles. So then when you use the shortcut again and you show the particles, you'll notice they have dispersed. And then hopefully you can get some peace and quiet in your second life. Oh, hello, I got visitors. <laughs> well, I've been Torley Linden, and I hope you've enjoyed this installment of the Second Life Tip of the Week. Hope you'll join me next week as well. Have a lovely time. Bye-bye and yesarama! <laughs>